You've arrived on pilgrimage in the land called Holy. And you find yourself just a few miles outside Nazareth. You recall Mary's courageous yes to the movement of the Spirit birthing God into the world. You may just hear echoes of Mary's joyful song welcoming the inbreaking of a new anti-imperial order where God fills the hungry with good things and sends the rich away empty. Mary's prayer reminds us just how deeply Rome had devastated the lives of poor farmers and peasants on this the edge of its empire. Rome's so-called peace had resulted in poverty starvation and deeply divided communities. Mary's prayer must have seemed silly in the face of Roman might. She was at the very bottom of the pile, crushed under the weight of imperial domination. How was this helpless woman child going to overthrow such power? Mary reminds us that change only happens at the margins of empire never at its centre. We will be especially tempted to use its monetary system to bring about the good, but we must resist with all our might. Christianity today bears a deeply ironic witness to Mary's messianic hope. Institutional Christianity largely embodies precisely all the forms and practices that Mary rejected. Hierarchy, patriarchy, and collaboration with power. But Mary's prayer expresses the irrepressible hope in the word which Jesus enfleshed. To express radical, joyful, concrete hope of liberation for those enslaved and pressed down by empire, including a creation that is groaning to be set free. As we end our pilgrimage through the land called Holy, may the unceasing promise come true in our lives of a world in which God fills the hungry with good things. sends the rich away empty.